When you are creating designs using icons, it's really important if you can to add some animation just so you can add some visual interest to your designs rather than just leaving them as static images. That way it will look much more appealing to your clients as well as to the users. Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in this video we are going to use Adobe XD to create this search icon and when we click on it, it's going to turn from search to close icon and this distortion is going to happen with the circle and when we click on the close again, distortion is going to happen again and it's going to go back to the search icon. So let's get started. So to get started, I have an airport of 500 by 500 and I'm going to use a simple ellipse to create a circle holding my shift key and I'm going to click right here and enter some values. So for example, 200 with 200, press enter and I'm going to position it in the middle using these two commands. I'm going to click on the stroke width and type in 10 because I want this to be nice and thick and make sure that they are in the center like so. I'll click on the layer name and call it circle. And if you don't see layers, simply click right here and they'll, they're going to appear or disappear depending on what is selected. Next, I'm going to click on the pen tool, hover with my mouse somewhere around here until you see this uh, blue line, which indicates the center of the airport. I'm going to click somewhere around here, then hold my shift key and click somewhere around here to create these two uh, dots and these two points, then hit escape because I want it to end there. Next, I'm going to click on the round cap to round the corners and then use the stroke width size and enter 10 once again. So that way we have the same stroke width size of both the circles and the line. Speaking of the line, rename it to line one and you can click somewhere outside and then click on it one more time click here, then here to position it in the center and then hit control or command D to duplicate it and call this one line number two. Next, you can group them. So click on one, click on the other one, holding your control or command key, hit control G to group them and call it lines. And next I'm going to click on the circle and double click inside of the circle. Click on this dot right here and then simply hover with my mouse and you can see this blue dot right here. Just try to hit the center between this dot and this dot. So somewhere around here, it really doesn't have to be perfect, but you can click somewhere around here and that's going to create another anchor point, which we are going to use a bit later to animate and we are going to distort it a little bit just so that we can create that effect that you saw in the intro video, just so that the circle distorts a little bit. Next up, I'm going to use my lines, click right here on the select tool and hover somewhere around the top until you see these two arrows, which indicates that you can rotate them and you can click and hold shift and rotate them somewhere around here, perhaps, and then simply move them outside until you are happy with it. So for example, right here, ideal would be if you can position them somewhere around this circle. But as I said, it really doesn't matter. You can just move them right here to the top and I think that looks quite fine like so. Next up I'm going to group everything so click on the lines folder for example then hold my controller command key hit control G to group them and I'm just going to call this one icon for example or search icon even better press enter and then click here and then here to position that icon in the center of my artboard. Now Next thing is to create multiple uh, duplicates of this artboard. You can do this using the asset panel and uh, converting this to components, but it really doesn't work all that well because you cannot add that many states and this icon uh, is moving between places and then you have to click and go back between states. So it really does not work with this particular case. In some other cases, when you have, for example, one or two, maybe even three states, it might work just fine. But with this particular case, there are some glitches and there are some uh, weird effects with it. So I really recommend that you just make a bunch of uh, different R ports. We are going to have six different R ports for this effect in total. So to get us started, you can hit control D and it's going to create a duplicate of this R port. And what I'm going to do with this one is simply click on my lines. So you can double click inside to choose lines or you can op simply open this folder, select lines and then simply move them right around here, for example. 
and then double click on the circle, choose that dot, and then simply move it right here. If I zoom in a little bit, you can see what I'm doing, just so that I can connect them uh, right here at the meeting point, and then simply use these two handles to distort this dot just a little bit more, just so that you can have a bit more dramatic effect right here. Next up, we're going to use this same circle. So hit Control D, and we're going to use these two lines. So just jump inside and I'm going to rotate my lines like so using the shift key and instead of this circle I'm going to use this circle so double click inside hit ctrl C click right here hit ctrl V and it's going to position that circle in exactly the same spot as it was because we didn't uh, mess around with the positions or anything and then you can simply include it right here in your original search icon folder and simply delete the original circle like so. Next up, we're going to position the lines in the center like this. And you can hold your shift key while doing this to make sure they are in the perfect circle like so. Next up, what we need to do is simply rotate these lines. So I'm going to click on line one and include right here where it says rotation 135, press enter to rotate it to 135 degrees and click on line 2, click right here and type in 45, press enter and it's going to rotate it to 45 degrees. Now basically our design is completed at this point because uh, only thing we need is these three states because this is a first and default state when you click on it, it's going to animate it and we're going to include time trigger right between these two artboards and it's going to basically stop in here. But one thing that I forgot is, let me quickly duplicate it, so hit control D. I need to make a default state with this one. So I'm going to go back and simply type in a zero, for example, click right here, type in zero, like so. And let me go back and check. Yeah, that's it. So basically, when you click on it, it's going to distort a little bit, wait just a second, then rotate to this state and finally rotate and create X using these two different lines. Now, what I have to do now is simply duplicate this state and finally duplicate this state because when you click on the X icon to close it, it's going to circle back through these states and go back to the original search icon. So now it comes the time to animate it. And to do that, I'm going to simply click on the prototyping tab and click on this first icon. Now to get us started, I'm just going to drag the handle right here and choose tap for the transition. I'm going to choose auto animate is in out. I'm going to use it here and duration is going to be quite short. So 0.2 seconds. Next up, I need to create a time transition. So I'm going to select the entire artboard drag it to here instead of tap i'm going to use time delay is going to be zero seconds auto animate is in out 0.2 seconds and i'm going to do the same for this one so we're going to choose time zero seconds auto animate is in out 0.2 seconds and now on this one what we have is to create a tap trigger once again so tap drag it to here auto animate is in out 0.2 seconds and we're going to use time for these two so basically select the entire artboard drag it to here use time zero uh, seconds delay auto animate is in out 0.2 and finally what we need is this last one and we're going to connect it back to the original artboard so it's going to go back to here and we're going to use time zero seconds delay auto animate search icon is in out and 0.2 seconds once again. So let's now preview it. I'm going to select this first artboard and click right here and let me enlarge it just a little bit so you can see it better. So when you click on it, it's going to distort, go to that uh, middle state basically and turn into close and you can click on the close and it's going to go back one more time. Now, if you think uh, that these transitions are going a little bit faster than you want it to, then you can simply go back and play around with the delay time. So for example, you can include delay. Let me quickly click on this one, 
delay you can include it to be for example 0.2 seconds between these two or you can even go hardcore and go with one second if that's something that you want but you can really play around with them also you can use duration if you want a different um, sort of effect for example from here to here you can use snap and it's going to snap into this close icon it's going to create really a different effect than the one I'm showing you but for this video tutorial I think this works quite well it's fast and easy to do because these search icons are in majority of cases located inside of the search bar so they have to react uh, with the search bar combined not just on their own so you can just imagine that this is going on quite quickly and a user is going to type uh, the search term inside of that search bar and if they don't want it to they can simply click right there and it will take them back to the original state so that's basically it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, consider subscribing, click that like button and that bell notification so you don't miss any future videos that I upload. And I'm uploading videos every single week on UI, UX design, freelancing, time management, passive income techniques and more. So if you don't want to miss that, then click subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.